Hello and welcome back my fellow mages and mystics. And today we're taking up basically more or less exactly where I left off. Well not more or less, but Okay. The door problem is still an issue. So today we're gonna make some advancements. And I saw fire clay over here somewhere. I'm gonna be right clicking. Okay, this torch. You gotta go. I'm gonna be right click. Oh, that was made of copper bits. Okay, awesome. Um. Yep. So we're gonna run over here. And we're gonna dump some things. Um, I want to make some room in my <clears throat> inventory. Okay, these, the brains that we got from the rabbits, this is used for um, tanning. But we can get those. Uh, thought I had. Okay, I do have. See, these can be turned into hides. Pack dirt. I kind of want to keep those. <clears throat> but, okay, flint. We're going to get. I'm doing this because I'm right clicking instead of breaking because yeah we can find worms under rocks and sticks and the main thing I'm looking for is there it is it is the main thing I was looking for <clears throat> is we saw fire clay up here and I want to get uh, okay I want to get some progress made. And this is a big patch of clay. I'm glad this is so close. Um, fire clay. <coughs> There's two types of clay in the game that I know of. There's fire clay and blue clay. And I believe fire clay has some ad <clears throat> some additional uses. So let's press H on that. Okay. Hardened fire clay. Uh, clay oven. Taxidermy. We're not going to get into that. Empty skips. Those are for beekeeping. <clears throat> we will be we will be getting into that but my thing is it's clay and I'll show you why uh, clay is important because you need clay <clears throat> to get into pottery and there's a couple there there's a whole bunch. <coughs> Excuse me. But I was turning over these rocks, right clicking them, because we have a couple fishing mods in this mod pack. And that's how you get <clears throat> worms for bait. You right-click stones. I'm hoping we'll be lucky enough to find one. They seem to be a little bit rare. But... <clears throat> that's okay. But yeah. <clears throat> Dang. Oh. 
How is our hunger? Our hunger is up. <clears throat> We're a bit hungry. And I apologize. I was fine until I started recording. And then now all of a sudden I have a frog in my throat. So, I apologize. But we're going to go and do some cooking. And I have, I have sticks, I have grass. I have enough wood to make firewood in my my house so okay I'm gonna it's not gonna do a lick of good for the moment but I'm gonna put these fences there those shells are gonna be important later okay there's our fire pit <clears throat> so clay First and foremost, uh, I'm going to, really quick, I'm going to break these leaves. This is pretty much useless as it sits. And we can throw stones. We just have to be careful not to hit any of the villagers. Because <clears throat> that would be bad. Oh! There it is. A worm. We can eat it. We can use it for bait. We can place it on farmland manufacture worm casings <coughs> castings not casings okay we're gonna put that in there for the moment so like I was saying and our door broke again which is awesome okay we'll get that out of there so clay if you shift, right click, this will come up. <clears throat> and you get all kinds of things. Cauldrons, saucepans. We're going to be doing a lot of this, but we're not going to be doing it right now. Bullet molds. <clears throat> Didn't realize I had guns in here. You need a kern before you can make that. Okay. What I'm looking for first and foremost is this now if you hold hold alt you can free move the mouse around if you don't hold alt you have to blah and you get dizzy <clears throat> so if you right click it takes away clay or if you right click it adds clay if you left click it takes clay away so we're not going to mess with taking clay away and if it's green squares it means you have to put clay in and if you look up here where it says medium fertility soil now it says output raw storage vessel that's what you're going to get and the voxels that's per piece of clay also if you hold F or if you press F you can get this we can do one by one pixel two by two three by three and you can duplicate layer duplicate layer will be important later and I will show you that soon. Okay, now we need to hit F, go back to one by one, hold Alt, and fill in all these pixels. And yes, this is boring AF. So, but it's a vital piece for a couple things. First off, storage. Any game, you have to have storage. You gotta have a place to put your stuff. <clears throat> Secondly, food preservations. Food in this game rots. If you don't have it in a some type of storage, it will rot very quickly and you will be hungry very soon. 
So, now, duplicate layer. See, I have a layer down. Now if I hold right click, it will copy the layer before. And it will continue to do so as long as you hold the right mouse click and as long as the layer you are working on is exactly the same as the layer before. So with these storage vessels, they have a bunch of these single layers. And believe me, this is the quickest way to make these. You can try other ways. See, now it shows yellow. I goofed. I right clicked when I wasn't supposed to. So now I've got to left click and take those layers out. Or those things that I added. Which is basically wasting clay. You don't want to waste clay. Clay can be... I mean, we got severely super, super lucky that clay was literally just right there. But if it's not, <clears throat> if you don't get super lucky like that, you can travel literally thousands of blocks <clears throat> looking for clay in this game. My single player world I had to travel like 5,000 blocks looking for clay. Not a fun time. Oh, and I can do that. <clears throat> it's probably just as quick. And there, raw storage vessel. Now if we right click that, we'll pick it up. And it's not raining. It is raining. Son of a... Alright, well... We have a remedy for that. I'm going to dig down just a bit more here. And you want a pit that's covered. Rain will put out fires in this game. Without a doubt. Shift right click it in. And I'm going to need one more of those pits. I have a shovel. Why am I doing this by hand? And I want to make something. We're going to need to make more of these. That is not a issue. But I need to make something else now. If I can find there they are raw bowls. Okay now there's orange down the middle here. Oops. Um Yep. So we're going to have to fill. Okay. I've got to do this. Or else we're never going to get done with anything. But it's raining. So that means we can't just have our fire pits uncovered. And basically, essentially, what we're making with the, when we dug those pits are pit kilns. <clears throat> that is how pottery and things like that. Actually, in human history, that's how pottery and stuff was made. Not following this exact way that we're doing it in the game, because this is the game. But it is very close to how pottery was actually made in prehistory. And it's starting to get dark, which sucks and we're gonna have to check our food because we're getting very hungry but we are close to making that now there's four bowls and I'm gonna put one two three and you may be asking yourself well why are you only using three 
uh, reasons you'll see momentarily I have firewood I have firewood in here okay now I have I don't want these alder canes I don't want the willow canes I don't want that my inventory is getting jankified so we have this one while it's still light enough to do it I'm gonna put my torch here so I make sure you guys can see two of these are fine for now we need this now if we shift and right click in here <clears throat> it will fill it up partially with that so next shift right click put sticks in then, <clears throat> then I have firewood on me I don't know why I bleh. see now we can walk on this we're not going to want to walk on that because fire obviously burns and hurts so it's going to be dark for a minute I apologize so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of dirt there so we can't walk in on that. That is because I don't want the villagers... I don't want the villagers walking onto the fire and catching fire. You know, that... that And... Yes. They will. They can. And they do. Do things like that. So I have a torch in here, so I'm fine. Alright. Next, I need to make one more thing. Shift right click. And... Where is it? Honey pot. Honey pot. Crucible, no, I almost made that. Cooking pot. Okay, alt. We need to get this one done quickly. And my axe broke. <clears throat> that sucks. Because I'm not going to have enough firewood to do that. F. This ba oops, is basically a miniature version of the thing we made before, the big one. Alright, fill the squares in. I think this, yep. Right click that, pick that up, and come in, put this down. Cooking pot and bowls. Um, there. We'll fill that up. Sticks. And we will put what firewood we have. Oh, we have plenty of firewood. What am I talking about? So we're going to do that. We're going to put that in here. <clears throat> and we're going to light that one. Now we have two pit kilns firing. Oh, they're fired, but they're burning. So, I'm going to put this table... Oh, you... Bugger. Not having to make another axe to make firewood actually saved us a bunch of time there. And I'm going to put my aged chair right there. And this... I'm going to set that over there for now. Ah, uh, now... We have to make food. So I'm going to put that in there. Fresh for one day. I don't want to really cook that meat. <clears throat> but I really don't have much of a choice. We are hungry. And we're going to start taking damage. Uh, berries are fresh for 3.5 days. So I'm going to hang on to them. Fresh for 1.7 days. I'm going to eat a bunch of rhubarb. I'm going to close my door. Okay. <clears throat> Top left-hand corner. Current rift activity calm. Our meat's almost cooked. So I can take that out so I'm not wasting firewood. 
and that should cook. We'll need one more. Uh, I'm drink <clears throat> drinking some of my coffee. I love coffee. Iced coffee, hot coffee, cappuccino, latte, flat. You name it. I love coffee. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys prefer to drink in the comments. Are you a coffee drinker? Do you like tea? Do you just drink water? That's fine. Uh, water is awesome. I like cold water. So we're going to eat our meat that we just cooked over the campfire and we'll have some berries for breakfast it is 2100 hours time enough to go to sleep and watch our hunger go down <clears throat> okay 6 30 in the morning that's good our hunger did go down uh, as you can see, our pit kilns are still... Oh, you cracker. Uh, can I put anything? I can't put anything else. I'm going to have to go and see. There's no storage in that. There's no storage there. There's no storage there. I was saying I'm gonna have to go and see if I can hijack some storage from somebody. Aged shelf. A dead chicken. That is an opportunity I'm not going to pass up. Ripped apart pieces are missing. We didn't get any meat, but we got feathers, which is okay. Can I put I cannot apparently can't put uh oh oh shoo glass panes can be broken and taken hmm don't think I can use this okay I'm gonna do that trader did we ever see what this trader has That guy is flipping out. Flax bread. Cooked bush meat. That's possible. Cooked red meat. Cooked poultry. Rice bread. They just want a bunch of food. I believe I found out about that before. Okay, there's no storages in that building. Yeah, there's no storages anywhere. Um, a rabbit. I'm going to see if I can chase it into the farm. Because, oh, there's, <clears throat> there's more rabbits in there. Flint. And, oh, Flint. Flint spearhead. Flint spearhead. I'm gonna make a couple spears. Same thing with the, as with the clay. Only except you don't add any pieces to flint napping. You just nap pieces away to make the shape that you want. And you don't have to take out every block. You can just outline the blocks that you need to take and the game will do the rest for you. <clears throat> so, there's that, there's that, there's that, and I was gonna say, where'd my spears go? All right, and one rabbit down. And there's a little tiny rabbit. I'm not gonna worry about that one. That one, can run free and 
and I'm gonna take that and put with those. I'm gonna take that. I don't really care about the brain. I said I don't really care about the brain. That shell, you know. Yeah, little tiny rabbit, you're free to go. Luck is on your side today. Now, are there rabbits over here in the farm? Not in the farm that I can see. But all the villagers are gathered here today to pay homage to our crops. I don't know why I said that. That was weird. But whatever. So, now that we have that, I don't know what that sound was. It is raining. Rain sucks. We have a full inventory. We have no storage. Things suck. But, once these pit kilns get done, we'll be much better. So, hmm. I don't want to get rid of, <clears throat> well, I can cook some more meat while I am waiting. That'll be fine. We do need food. And I should save the bush meat, or should save the meat for better, uh, better things. <clears throat> but I don't want to. Because we do need food, and we do need food very quickly. I have this that I can do that with, which will save m some room. I'll do that. I'll save a stack of dirt. I'll do that. Our copper. Our other clay. Do we have copper in there? No, we don't. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, we have copper in there. And worms. Worms and metal. Heck of a combination, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here, and we're going to give this person a bed. Because we stole the bed. Technically, we stole the bed and a house. So, while we're waiting for things, let's take a look at the map. So, Shall we go out for a little jaunt? It's only 11.40 in the morning. So let's go... Let's go investigate this. Which is ruins by the look of it. Because that's ruins. I know that is because I stopped there. Uh, so let's go... Let's go here first. Okay. I'm right in that direction. So hopefully oh, all of our firewood is going to burn up, but that should be fine. Ah. Don't really like wasting firewood, but it is what it is. And as I'm going out today, I can try to find more worms. No, I don't want to eat the worms. Jeez, stop. Dude. So we'll take a jaunt over uh, over that way. Oh. Can we do anything with the snakes? No, apparently not. It was worth a shot. I heard a rooster. Uh, 
We're going to get some more food while we have it. Our food's low. So... <clears throat> we need the food. Before we start making funky sounds. And yes, you will make funky sounds when you're hungry. It is annoying. It's the only game I know that will actually literally annoy you into eating. Okay, that, I don't want that. Stop picking it up. Another worm. There's the rooster. And rabbits. More worms. I think those are not rabbits. Those are all chickens. Okay. So... We've been to that. We need to go that way. Because I think... I think it's because it's raining. Worms are more frequent. I mean, that's the way it works in real life. So... Another snake. We'll just let him go on about his normal everyday business. But I'm going to gather this hard sedge because we can make at least another uh, wicker basket for storage. Um, there's two types of sedge in this game. I mean, I know there's more than two types in real life. And uh, yes, this is actually a real-life plant. Uh, soft sedge, they're both a type of grass. Uh, but soft sedge is edible. Uh, in the game and in real life, by the way. So, okay, 2 o'clock. So we need to head in this direction. Some horse. Eight worms. That's that's perfect. Uh, there's another horse over there. But yeah, like I was saying, sedge. There's different types. And it's a real world plant. You can look it up if you wish. Uh, but yeah. Hard sedge is used for making like wicker and stuff. Uh, I believe. Anyway, um, yeah. And soft sedge in the game and in real life is edible. Eagle ferns, I thought it was more sedge for some reason. We can toss these rocks though when we're done worm hunting. If we need a boost of protein, chewy on the outside, crunchy on the inside. Uh, whoa! Okay, you go your own way, dude. I don't want to bother you. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Okay, world's glitching. We're not going to pay attention to that. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Another sheep. Yeah, I was going to say, I, oh, that's a rift. Bad guys come out of that. Is this what I was... looking for? No, I completely bypassed it. That's up that way. But after we check this out, we'll label what this trader sells and buys. Okay. Treasure hunter trader. Okay. Okay. I think so. Got anything to trade? Oh, man. 
we can get forage gears, farming gears, seed, and not gears, vessels, tool vessels. Some of these will be uh, worth, actually they have a temporal gear. <clears throat> uh, they want to buy all kinds of stuff. Treasure hunter. But I am going to mark this. Oh, thank goodness it stopped raining. Trader sells vessels. I'm going to label it that because oops, because oh, what else we got around here? Some stuff that can be paid attention to later. So, um, I think I'm heading south this way. Yep, I was heading in completely, completely the wrong direction. Okay. More hard sedge. <clears throat> We're going to have to start heading back home soon, but... No, I don't want tool. We'll harvest some more of this hard sedge. Because baskets. I don't want the tool. I don't want the tool. You're going to keep picking it up anyway, aren't you? All right, well, I don't want the tool. That's two more. Uh, all right. I think I got all the hard sedge here. Uh, we're going to keep that. Alright, now I believe i got to keep heading this way. Yep, pretty much straight. Then, uh, that's a fox. That scared the heck out of me. That yelp sound was a fox. And they sound like that in real life. Believe me, we have a fox that comes around here. around my house. I live in Pennsylvania. And we have all kinds of critters that uh, come around here. Bony soil. Very cool. More bony soil. Very cool. Some rusty gears. Also very cool. <clears throat> um, pile of junk metal. Metal spikes. I don't want to mess with those. Rusty gear. Ruined brazier. And bony soil. <clears throat> so here I am going to mark as a... What am I going to mark it as? Uh, ruins. I'm a bright pink. Tons of bony soil. And I'm going to head straight for that one. 17. We're going to have to book it. I mean, I'm not going to have a lot of time to look around this ruins. Holy crap, this is a big ruins. Ah, uh, food vessel. What do we have? We have a grain, I believe. Spelt. Okay, that is very cool. 
Claystone can't be used for a corn. Uh, just checking to see if there's any other obvious an aged lad. I don't want get off. Get let me get down. Thank you. Jeekers. Germany Christmas. What is going on up there? I can't tell. I can't see. A uh, pile of junk metal. Um, metal spikes don't step on those. Yes, they do hurt. Static translocator. I don't know exactly what that is, but I know they are not very common. Um, I know they're... I think they're like a teleporter. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think... Okay. This ruin could be very cool. Junk metal. Ah, torch holder. Um, pack dirt. Can be used to place torches inside. I'm going to eat this. It'll give us some food. Can we put our torch in it? Oh my god, yes, we can. You're going to be coming with me. And a chest that has some lore. And I believe we can take this chest. Oh man, it died. Granite stone brick. Uh, we might come and ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. we'll have to explore that but we're gonna get back home and I'm gonna hightail it where are we we need to head in this direction I believe yep that is our village up there so, E, and that, and we're going to book. We're going to book it, we're going to hoof it, leg it, we're going to GTFO. we got to get home, like, now. I jump off the side of a mountain. I broke my ankle. But, I'm trying to, like, uh, wait a delay getting or ending the video because I'd like to see our pit kilns be finished and they are finished so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click that I'm going to do that I'm gonna break that I'm gonna put that up it's gonna be dark for a second and we're going to put that up there. Our fire is still going. Cooked red meat charred. It's because I left it in the cookery thing. Man, if we could have got that chest, <clears throat> that would have been amazing. But this still good progress. See, <clears throat> there's only eight slots there. There's 12 whole slots there. So, spelt grain, perishable for 89.9 days. Fresh for 1.1 years. So that... <clears throat> okay, I don't think there's a wasting time on that so we're gonna start some stuff in there 
and these things you can also place them like that so we have a place now for stuff and a place for things our worms <clears throat> and with that being said ladies and gentlemen I am going to end this episode here <clears throat> after we sleep uh, thank you for watching and in the next episode stay tuned for cooking with wizard and with that being said stay magical have a good one bye bye